Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Vinny the Handyman. Today I'm working on my AC unit at my house. My capacitor had gone out on the AC unit, so we're gonna replace that in today's video. Let's get to it. Okay, so when you guys order this online or go to your local supply house, take a picture of it. And then you wanna show them this number here, 35 plus five MFD, 35 plus five MFD, and that matches this one. So those are the numbers you guys wanna look for when replacing this thing, okay? All right, guys, we're back to the job site now. I finally got my new capacitor in. Uh, during this time of year, unfortunately, you have to go to a different supply houses or sometimes order them online. Thankfully, I was able to get this in time. All right, so first things first, we want to shut off power. Okay, guys, I cannot stress this enough. Be very cautious when dealing with your AC unit. There's a lot of voltage going through here. So you want to make sure that you, if you have a uh, fuse disconnect, take out your fuse and also turn it off at the breaker to be safe. All right, and if you don't have this little sub panel with the, um, the fuse that comes out of it, go to your service panel and look for the uh, AC unit and then go ahead and hit the breaker for that as well, all right? So be very cautious when dealing with this. There's a lot of voltage in here that could potentially harm you or if not kill you, all right? Not to scare you, but you guys have to follow safety on this. And if you don't feel comfortable, please call a licensed electrician and they'll take care of it for you, all right? Let's go ahead and pull this out. All right, so now we've cut power to the unit. All right, like I mentioned before earlier in the video, just take your screwdriver, go ahead and hit all the contacts. This will help get rid of any um, voltage that's in the system. All right, again, take a picture of this so you don't mess it up. Basically, all you're gonna do is pull these contacts off and then unscrew it right here from this uh, support strip. Okay, so now we got it back up exactly how it was on the other capacitor. So we're good to go now. Okay, so as long as you guys take the picture of the previous hookups, where it says fan, coil, and herm, then you'll be fine, trust me. Uh, we don't have to get to the specifics of it. You just wanna learn how to change this capacitor out safely, and that's all this video is really for, not the technical side of it. Okay, so now we got our new capacitor hooked up. Okay, so now we're going to put our fuse back in, so that's how it should look. Alright. Alright, everything's intact. So that's it. Okay, so that concludes this capacitor install for your AC unit. Again, be very, very careful before attempting this, guys. There's a lot of voltage that's going through this thing. It can kill you. Not to scare you, but it can kill you. So be very, very cautious. Turn off the breaker, take out the fuse. Um, wear rubber gloves, okay? So just be very, very careful when messing with this. Um, you don't have to call an HVAC specialist. It's recommended, but you don't have to, especially if you live in a rural area. Uh, it can be very difficult to get somebody out to your location. So again, just take the proper safety steps, turn off all the power, you'll be just fine, okay? All right, Vinny the Handyman, sign out. Take care, stay confident. I'll see you guys on the next remodel.